Hey everybody, it's Sharon from Big Big Days. If you would like to see my real struggles creating this ocean resin sculpture, which I do absolutely love, but boy, with the struggle reels, that's where I'm looking. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave in all of my bloopers. You're going to get to see the power of the ocean really coming out in that energy in the studio. And it was kind of like, I can't put my finger on it, but every so often we get those days where you drop everything, you spill everything, everything's sticky. You're just in a hot mess and you keep persevering and you're almost ready for just throwing it away and walking away thinking, should I carry on with this? Is it going to work? Is it not? And um, this video is about the real struggles I had creating this, I think, very uh, stunning piece. And if you want to watch it, carry on watching the rest of the video. If not, come back and see me. Hopefully there'll be a video that you will enjoy soon. But there's two separate pieces sculpted in here. And the real issues for me, I'll let the video talk it out, but ultimately I did two pieces at the same time. I didn't wait quite long enough. I just got in a sticky mess. My energy in the room probably wasn't the best for working on it, but I persevered, but I never gave up. And in the end, I hope that you'll see the beauty in this. But yeah, I want to show you that I'm real too. I'm human. I don't get it right. And even though this is not perfect, I love it, but steep learning curve. And that's why we as artists should think about our pricing of our products because it takes a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of materials, <laughs> a lot of fails to get there but i'm shine i'm digress digressing i let the video speak for itself hope that you watch it i would love to know your thoughts and did you see the value on seeing the human element side which is you know it doesn't go perfect but remember thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome make sure you pop back and see me very soon because i'm going to be showing you what will be my giveaway for 30,000 subscribers now i'm a little premature i still got 2000 to go but start coming back having a little look and i don't want you to miss out in potential giveaway anyway much love so i have got glitter everywhere it's flying everywhere i've just dropped my precious my super sparkle white has gone everywhere that'll teach me to think about what i'm doing and not rushed it's because i've just been adding some super sparkle ready to my resin but it's a warm day so i need to make sure i move quickly i've just let them stand a little bit so that they're in separate containers because if you have bulk resin on a hot day it's going to cure pretty quick and it's allowing those bubbles to go so i am just mixing my super sparkle white in so i've got two different colors i'm going to be doing which is teal and sky blue we're going to be doing an ocean sculpture and i'm just adding a little bit into my sand so i need to rush and get my sand now and mix that in i really have done this in the wrong order today clear sand or should i said beach sand i'm just adding and i'm gonna mix in Trying to think different about how to get my beach theme into a vase. That's kind of cool. Maybe a little bit more, not too much more. And we have got our resin waiting because with a sculpture, you want to only pour it as um is it starting to cure use your words sharon all right totally teal which is from the liminos all right i'm going with 20 drops and see how i feel about that i'll add some more just i'm about to pour it because i want it to be transparent still but I also want to be able to see, you see how you get those um, little bits of movements and darker colours through there? That is what I am wanting. And I mix it into Star Wars so you get it coming through. And then just before I add it, I'll mix some more in. Because I don't want it to be perfectly blended. 
All right. And then my sky with a little bit of contrast for the darker areas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, so five less of that color. And now I am doing it on this iridescent paper. It's very thin. I've done a test on a very small piece and the resin came off. Now I'm actually wanting to leave it with crinkles in because I want to see what that's gonna do. And is that gonna add texture? Oh, look at that sky blue. Yummy ocean right there. So I've got my sand, my ocean. Now I'm gonna blend a little bit of my white, which is Casting Craft. Apologies for using the plastic containers. They're the last of my plastic containers, but I wanted to show you the colors going in here. And I will re-wipe them out, pull out that plastic. Should I say, pull out the resin and start again. All right, now I've got to quickly just get a few shells as features, and then I need to start pouring this. Um, yeah, but so far so good on the temperature for the resin. Eek! I have got some spare clear left over as well. So these are going to be two layers like I did before. I'm going to use this as the centerpiece for... So it needs to go that way. No, it needs to go that way. Okay? If I pour it that now, you're going to see it. So it needs to go that way. Oh, brain, work for me. Maybe it's a bit too big. Yeah, it needs to be reversed, Sharon. This is gonna be the bigger section because the plastic comes to there. This will be the side one. All right, got some shells ready. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of the ocean. Now, I do have some molds ready in case I have some leftover resin, which I'm imagining I will do. And if I told you I mixed uh, 500. And I'm just going to be organic with it. Have some fun. And I will fast forward so you can see this process. Let it do its thing and then I'll stir it up. But in the meantime, let's get a little bit of the sand around here. Go gently. Actually, no, I need to go around with the white first and then the sand.
It's one of those days where I've got myself in a right mess. Everything I've done has just been a sticky mess. I don't think this is going to work whatsoever. But I'm going to let it cure and just see. Okay, we are back. Now, you probably saw I got in a sticky mess. And I'm very nervous about if this is too thin for it to come in. And hindsight is beautiful. I should have wait, worked with just one piece, then done another piece. But I persevered. And we're going to see if we can actually create something out of this. And, you know, hopefully you'll learn something from this as I'm on a steep learning curve with it. It's only my third one, but I'm pushing it. I've used different materials, but I am going to sew. So I waited 20 minutes with my resin before I applied the colour. And then I came back after an hour and a half to pick it up and start moulding it, uh, sculpting it. Now, that's where I got in a sticky mess. It was slightly tacky still. I probably should have left it another um, half now, but I didn't have that time. It is now dry to touch, but it's time to take it off of this paper. Fingers crossed that's gonna work. And let it sit overnight in a shape of my choice. So, I am going to <laughs> ah, uh, salvage my shell because I am going to use that again. It's a beautiful shell. I just need to sign that back. And my starfish that I decided to take out. I decided to take it out. It was just too big. Composition, it bugged me. Anyway, now the downside is my shells. Because there has still been movement within the resin, which is what you get when it is leaning like this, my shells have been covered over with white foam. So, oh, see, it's one of those days I've just knocked my um, light stand down. It's one of those days where I should not be creating today. For whatever reason, I am having a bad day in the studio. As far as things are falling over, let's get rid of this. I'm getting this sticky mess. It's all just too hard, but let's see how this will come away from the resin. Oh, it's very thin there in some areas, so the resin itself. Oh, that came out like a dream. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Way, way better. So it seems like the issue was this user error, me. Get rid of some of this sticky tape away, and I should have just worked on one layer at a time. Now, I'm keeping this paper so I can stand my sculpture on while it uh, finished setting. Um, I'm not too sure if you're going to be hearing me because I keep walking away. I do apologize, but we live and learn. I actually quite like the iridescent look of it. And, uh, this paper, I might try and do one where I leave. Oh, it's a paper. This is just my day. Oh, if you could have heard me cursing when I was trying to do it, I had to go through three pairs of gloves. Nobody wants to do that because I just kept getting sticky and then my tape kept getting sticky. It's like the struggle's real, people. <laughs> As we learn, and this is one of the things we have to remind people that when you want, when you're pricing your art or anything like that, the amount of work that you go into learning yourself, materials, stress, also celebration. So I'm just going to save that. So I think I'm going to have to mix up a little bit of resin to mould these two together. And we are going to see if I can pull this tape away paper away as easy as I did the other one because it just came away like a tree. Oh, look at that. Beautifully easy. So this is the time now where I am going to ah, stand it back on the product it was stood on. <laughs> Well, I get my wakes <laughs> workspace sorted and then we're going to come and tape for the final time to hold the position. We're going to cut away all the pieces that make no sense and then create a little bit of resin to stick them together and then hopefully 
This will represent some kind of water vase. All right, I've got my tape handy. All right, tape is handy. I'm just going to work out how this composition will go. Very, very flimsy at the minute. Oh, there we go. That's my day for you. So I envisage one piece like that. I've got to get rid of this because this is hideous. That's just going to pull right off. One hopes. too too tacky at the minute and I should have probably just left it for a little bit longer. Let me entertain you. Very loosely. stick to that. See if this is going to help me. <laughs> At least you see my real struggles today, people. going to do though is just come and sort these pieces out. You know what, I am just going to leave this for a little bit longer over the vase. Because I've got to take my nail out to the pulp. It's only five minutes away, but if I start doing this, I'm going to be late for that. So rather than stressing like I've stressed all day, I'm just going to put these back over the things and we'll be back 
I'm sorry, people. This is my real struggle today. people but you're hearing my real struggle today it's taking all my energy not to cry <laughs> ah! because I know the project will be worth it And then when we come back, I'll get back to this and I'll get my scissors and we'll, we'll scoop it. But there you go, real life, uh, real life dramas in Sharon's studio. Okay, just found out that Neil doesn't need to go to the pub so uh, for another 40 minutes. So I can get on with trimming this now that I've found my scissors. You're just getting rid of all your little pieces here that make no sense. That have had weird runoffs while it's very very bendy and then you can always come back with sandpaper or torch oh torch no let's turn the light on torch if it's too fiddly for your scissors you can always do this with a stanley knife as well because it'll continue settling and all that. It's not going to become sharp. I'm just watching where I'm putting the um, dregs though, because I don't want that to get stuck on this piece. Now, I thought this was going to be a disaster and I was going to throw it away, but I think it's definitely salvaged. But, the eyes in the behold, so I'd love to know what you all think of this piece. And I just mindful some pieces are very thin, and that probably is because I let it, uh, I put it up about half an hour too early. And if I'd have been patient and come back, um, it would have held its form thicker, I feel. This is the paper I've used, by the way. I'm only putting this over the glass just because it's slightly tacky still and it keeps, um, sticking a little bit so to stop any more stress on it because it has gone quite thin and there's a lot of stress so next time what I would do is leave it an extra half hour so that two full hours before I move it and not compromise on that this is just to one hold it in shape for me as I sculpt it but two stop it sticking I try and sculpt this bad boy like this this is the inside oh. <laughs> Oh, my struggles, eh? My struggles. It's got to fit in the other piece, though, so I need this to semi. <laughs> should I just give up and go to bed? I really think I should just give up and go to bed. 
stuck. Everything's just getting stuck to everything. I am like, this is real struggles, people. Real. If anything's that, um, I think it's because that paper I'm using is so thin and things are just enjoying sticking to it. It's like a magnet to it. Perseverance will prevail. I do want this edge just to bend over. I just can't do yet that yet until I've got this in semi, semi rigid shape. Semi rigid. I don't know until I get it in the other one. Now it's closing up and I don't want it to close up. Oh my god. Such a big project I've taken for myself. And I found that I put my paper on the wrong way around, so now some bits have stuck to it. They're not part of the fixture. <laughs> It's not what I want it to look like. I kind of need it to. So I need this to be wrapped up still. I'm going to wrap my glass in now. All right, we're back. We're going to demold, <laughs> get all this crap off it, and we're going to see what we have now. Some of the tape has come off where I stuck it, but I'm not going to stress too much because you know it's the end of a long project. But let's start to see what we have here. So I will recycle and reuse the paper that is not destroyed. It is beautiful iridescent paper. So it's by the uh, crackling. It's so flimsy that paper though. All right, let's get rid of the pipe blasters. I'm so excited to see this. I've not even got a dress yet or had my shower. So good job it's not smelly vision. Let's see if we can take this off bit by bit. Let's see if it's hold its form or if it just looks absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I mean about how fragile this paper is. Right, don't drop your glasses. And then we'll have a look for imperfections. Not anything we want to stand back. Remove a piece at a time, Sharon. Look, my finger's stuck. <laughs> it's the ocean purse. Mm. A little bit 
tape I've got down in a fold there, and I'm thinking, how am I going to get that out? With a little bit of patience. That's because I did one piece before the other pieces. stuck together. Um, I'm not loving where that bit's concaved, however, all right, very steadily, I'm going to go down with my stick now. So something else you need to take into consideration when you are doing this. Any, oh, brilliant. <laughs> now I just came and brought me a cup of tea and scared me. One more, one more bit of uh, drama to this piece. Oh, I got it. I've done the drama of the tape. Not a huge amount, so I got most of it off yesterday, but it's still tacky, so, well, should I say bendable? I think I might just come through and just sand the edges. Not that they're sharp, I just want it to remove, I want it to be smooth. Yes. Okay, now it's time to just appreciate what I've done. And then we'll go out in the sunshine. So I'm gonna take you down. And we're gonna have a little look. And you can tell me if you feel nailed it, failed it. Like a big ocean wave just crashing and jumping up. I'm loving some of the bends on it. And some shells have stayed there, but you have got some that's been sort of covered up. And that's the movement that you're going to get because I placed it down a little bit too early, like such as there. But it's created a little bit of interest, you could say. And this concaved a little bit. This is where I sculpted it a little bit too early. Um, so lots of learns and lots of things I'll take through to the next um, next project. But yeah, some interesting things with this. And I do love how it sort of resembles a shell as well, in my opinion. You could say it's a hot mess, but you know. I kind of like it, but let's go out into the sunlight um, and show you that. But I'm just going to very lightly sand around these edges. But to save you time, I'm not going to show you what I'm doing there. It's only where I edited it a little bit before. And inside this is what it looks like. So sand is on the edge, which is good. And the white, so it definitely looks like it is splashing up. <laughs> Hopefully it represents an ocean to you. Sorry, my studio is a mess. Anyway, let's give the reveal outside. So here we are in sunlight and I will do my best to try and capture. Now, the different tones, I can't see of the bloom. Look at that, it just looks like water rippling down there. It definitely reminds me of ocean splashing but also a shell tell me if i'm going a bit crazy or if you can see that also let's take you in for some of the detail little flyover Getting in the shadow now. Anyway, thumbs up, 
subscribe, share. Comments are always welcome. Tell me, did you enjoy seeing me leaving the bloopers in? <laughs> uh, do you think I failed it or nailed it? Do you see an ocean? I know that I can perfect it. By no means is this, uh, you know, the best version of what I can keep doing. I've got to keep learning. But I love the interest, intricacy of this piece. And I love that it's just all random and wild, just like this project's been. Anyway, come back and see me, leave a comment, and make sure you check out my Etsy store, uh, Redbubble and Facebook. And remember to join my art group if you want to showcase your pieces of art in whatever form you prefer. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for hanging out. Much love.